Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Gillespie, Historic Site Manager with Nova Parks, and I'm here today at Aldi Mill with another history highlight. We recently had a sign put out in front of the mill about a freedom seeker by the name of Daniel Dangerfield, and I'd like to share his story with you. He was a teenager and in the 1840s when we believe that he worked here at Aldi Mill. He was enslaved by a man named French Simpson who lived a couple of miles away from Aldi Mill, and he rented him here to the mill owner at the time, John Moore. Sometime in the early to mid 1850s, we believe in 1854, Daniel Dangerfield decided that he'd had enough with his enslaved life and he escaped. Seeking freedom, he fled to Pennsylvania. He ended up in Harrisburg, where he worked as a laborer. He was married and had two children. And in April of 1859, word got back to French Simpson's family. By that point, Mr. Simpson had passed away. But word got back to his widow and to his family that Daniel Dangerfield had been spotted. Um, they were able to arrest Dangerfield and they took him uh, to try him in the city of Philadelphia in Pennsylvania. He had been accosted in a marketplace and taken there. He had um, several men of color to um, testify on his behalf and there were white men who traveled to Philadelphia from Loudoun County to testify that he in fact was this enslaved man Daniel Dangerfield. This is, um, it was an instance, it was a trial that really received a lot of publicity as far as um, freedom seekers were, were concerned. And in the end, um, the, the commissioner decided in favor of Daniel Dangerfield that there was not enough proof that he was the enslaved man that Simpson's family claimed that he was. And he gained his freedom. He quickly uh, moved to Canada so that there was no chance of him be, being recaptured um, and sent back into slavery in Virginia. And I want to read an account from a young lady, a free um, uh, black woman, who wrote in her diary um, after the news that Daniel Dangerfield had been released. Good news, the alleged fugitive, Daniel Dangerfield, has been released. The commissioner said that he released him because he was not satisfied of his identity. Others are inclined to believe that the pressure of public sentiment, which was, strange to say, almost universally on the right side, was too overwhelming for the commissioner to resist, particularly as his own family, even his wife, it is said, declared that they would discard him if he sent the man into slavery. That was written on April 6th, 1859, in the diary of Charlotte Fortin eventually Charlotte Fortin Grimke. As I said, Daniel Dangerfield did move uh, to Canada. He established a free life there. Um, and there were reports coming back to um, Quakers and others in Loudoun County that he thrived in his new life. I hope you'll come by Aldi Mill, take a look at our interpretive sign that is outside our grist mill and learn more about the history of Aldi Mill and this part of Loudoun County. Thanks.